Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today I am going to start chapter 3 Gauze's law from paper A of class 4th year. The topics that we will study in this chapter are in front of your screen. Electric flux. Total number of electric lines of force passing through a certain area is called electric flux. It is denoted by phi E. It is the scalar product of electric field intensity and vector area. The electric field flux for a small area element can be written as differential of phi E is equal to scalar product of electric field intensity and small area element. dA is the small area element. While the total electric flux for entire surface is phi E is equal to closed integral of of the scalar product of electric field intensity and area element dA is the area of the total surface as you can see in the figure here the electric field intensity is making an angle theta with vector area the direction of the vector area is normal to the surface so the, uh, the, you can say that the value of the electric flux depend on the angle between vector area and the electric field intensity. It can have maximum or it can have minimum or it can have any value. By putting the value of theta you can calculate the electric flux for that surface. Uh, you can uh, write the formula as phi e is equal to closed integral of e d a cos of theta for maximum flux we consider the surface is is held perpendicular to the electric field lines as the direction of normal unit vector is perpendicular to the surface so we say that the surface is held perpendicular to the electric field lines so for maximum flux, the angle between normal unit vector and electric field line is 0 degree. They are directed in the same direction. Mathematically, it can be written as phi E is equal to closed integral E d A cos of 0 degree and it has the maximum, maximum value closed integral E d A. Minimum flux. For minimum flux, the surface is held parallel to the electric lines of force. As the direction of the surface is along the normal and normal is directed perpendicular to, uh, to the surface. So in that case, the, the angle between the normal to the surface and the electric field lines are is 90 degree. So for minimum flux, the angle between electric field lines and normal unit vector is 90 degree. And you can calculate the flux through that surface is equal to phi E is equal to closed integral E d A cos 90 degree and cos 90 degree is equal to 0. So the flux through that surface when the surface is held parallel to the electric field lines or the normal unit vector is making an angle 90 degree with the electric field lines the flux is minimum in that case and you can write the flux phi e is equal to 0 now the Gauss's law electric flux passing through any closed surface is equal to 1 over epsilon naught time the total charge enclosed by the surface phi is equal to q over epsilon naught so here is another formula for the electric flux electric flux um, you can calculate the electric flux for a closed surface by dividing the charge enclosed by the surface by its permittivity of free space the proof for the Gauss's law let us consider we have a closed surface in the shape of a sphere and that is enclosing a positive charge so the uh, so the direction of 
electric intensity is radial it is directed along the radii of the sphere at a point p we have to calculate the value of electric flux so we take a small area element of the surface at a point p the normal unit vector is making an angle theta with electric field lines at a point p the electric field at a point p due to positive charge can be written as e is equal to kq over r square into r unit vector now the electric flux through the small area element as we have discussed earlier d phi is equal to dot product of e dot da small area element now the flux for the entire surface can be written as closed integral e dot da now putting the value from the electric field at a point p due to positive charge can be written as uh, now the uh, uh, it will be phi is equal to closed integral k q r square r unit vector dot da into n as da is equal to da into n vector a normal unit vector now now ar 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 arranging all this equation this lead to another constant and um, and we are putting uh, replacing this with d omega d omega is a solid angle and it has the value of 4 pi now putting this value um, uh, in the above equation it lead to k q into 4 pi k is the constant from coulomb's force and it has the value k is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not and um, and resultant equation will be phi is equal to q over epsilon not hence gauss's law is proved this for today thank you